Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, right, this one is really Tenergy Evolution, and it's only for people that own one. If you don't own one, to be quite honest, you're going to find this very boring, so you may as well just turn off right now. Right, anybody still here? Here we go then. I'm not going into descriptions of the Tenergy Evolution and stuff like that, because to be honest, Yes, this video is about the uh, TE, Tenergy Evolution, but it's not really about it, if you know what I mean. The biggest problem with this that uh, I have and that a lot of people have is the receivers. It's quite hard. Well, it's not hard to get hold of a receiver. They usually come with one, actually. They come with the, uh, the IA6C. But let me just move this out the road a moment. Yeah, they come with the. Let me zoom in a bit more as well. Oops, wrong way. Right. Yeah, they come with the IA6C. Right, which is a great receiver, don't get me wrong. But it's bulky. It's a bulky receiver. And yeah, like you can see here, you can take the cover off. Right, snip off your little ends and mess about and connect up different bits and pieces and put a little bit of heat shrink crown, connect your wires straight to the pins or even de-pin it. Right, which I've done uh, a couple of times, just de-pin it and solder straight to it, which I'll probably end up doing with this one at some point. But yeah, you can make them a bit, sorry, out of shot, you can make them a bit smaller, but they're still reasonably bulky. And then uh, you can... Go on to something like this, right, the EAS, A8S. Now, I did a video, this is not really a video about all different receivers. I've already done that one a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of months ago. I'm getting on to a new product, and uh, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> and guess what? It's a receiver. It's a new product, and it's a receiver. Not this one, though. No, uh, I did a review about this particular receiver, and I like it. I think it was all right, but uh, after a bit more research, a few, well, quite a few people have actually noticed that uh, this poor bugger, it has trouble with brushless motors, but if you put it in a mini quad, like, uh, well, a tiny whoop style quad, then it's great. Right, and it's a shame that because it's such a small little receiver. However, I haven't had a problem with it, but uh, that's just me, I suppose. But it's still reasonably thick and bulky. Right, now this is where the new product comes in from banggood.com. First thing I'm going to tell you straight away is this little adapter is for telemetry. Yeah, so you, you plug one end into uh, the receiver, the other end into that little adapter, and then straight to your flight control board and you've got telemetry and everything, if you want it. Right? But I've mentioned it, so I'm moving it out of the way. This is the main thing I want to tell you about. And now we're going to have to zoom in again, because this is tiny. Just to give you an idea just how tiny this is, there's a 20 pence piece and uh, as you can see <laughs> it's about the same length and it's roughly the same thickness okay you've got your adapter there right but in fact it's thinner than a 20 pence piece it's actually thinner right apart from your plug right but you can always remove that plug and solder your wire straight to the board and this is excellent for brushless and all size models you're not going to have any problems like you did with this uh, little bugger right even though I'll say it again I've used this right and that and I didn't have any problems with the FSEAS but anyway this one I got because it's so tiny and so thin and it's going into me purple relic 215 I'll leave a link in the description or pop some up in the corner here just there all right in case you want to watch that video because it's such a tight build and I have had a few problems with that trying to get it to look neat building it getting it to fly no problem but 
Trying to get everything inside and for it to look neat was a problem. Now that's where this little bugger comes in. And it's such a tiny little receiver. And the great news is it will bind directly to your Turnigy Evolution. And let's be honest, if you own one, you want a, another receiver that works really well, which is small. And when you compare it to the IA6C, right, it's real small. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're talking night and day here. Really are, night and day. But right, getting back to it, when you go to band this, right, you'll look all over for a band button. And if you're like me, you'll never bloody find one until you look at the instructions. The actual bind button is here. It is tiny. I hope you can, I don't know if I can zoom in any closer for you, whoops, for you to see that. That's out of focus. Come on, focus, yeah, get, there you go, thank you. Yeah, there's your band button, just there. It is tiny. However, when you push your finger on it, you can actually feel it, band, band down as in depress. You can feel it. But, yeah, there's not much more, hey, 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 drunk. There's not a lot more I can say. But when you're just comparing it in sizes, Right, whoops, if we get them in shot, i tell you what, zoom out a bit, it might help. Yeah, if you're just comparing it in sizes, you can see it's a tiny little bugger and it's super thin compared to all the others. Now there are a couple more different receivers out there that will bind to the Tenergy Evolution, however, this this one's a really good price as well you're talking less than 10 pound i'll leave links in the description so you can click on it and go straight to it and as i've said it has a telemetry uh, adapter so you can get all your telemetry if you're interested in that a lot of people just want to whack some of it in and get in the air and then a lot of people want to mess about with all the telemetry and setting up all the gizmos and the riss and uh, stuff like that but I digress. So there we go then. It's a new little receiver for the Tenergy Evolution and it's a tiny little thing. Now, as you can probably guess, I can't tell you if it how good it works for the simple reason I have not tested it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all right, don't go anywhere because uh, I'm keeping this video going. I'm going to cut, get it in a model, do a test when I can, and come back whenever I can. Okay? Right then, so I'll see you in three, two, one. And we're back, but not as you expected. Uh, I put it, uh, I took my receiver out of my uh, QAV210, which you've seen before, and I whacked it in there and I had a flight and uh, I filmed it and I thought this this is stupid you seeing a video of a quad fly and don't prove anything you know what I mean so I thought it, it's a ridiculous ending to uh, telling you about a new receiver so that's why I've, I've thrown it away so to speak not the receiver the bit of video uh, I deleted it and I'm just ending it with this right because it makes more sense to me uh, it's a good receiver, it works really well. You've seen how small it is, the Flint 1.0, the Flint 10, or is it 1.0? I can't remember now, I'll have to look myself in the description. <laughs> yeah, the Flint 10. Uh, banggood.com, I'll leave links in the description to it. it it's a good receiver and it, it's very small. And I've already decided what I'm doing with it. Right, because I'm just going to put my other receiver back in my uh, 210. Right, because it was working fine and I don't need a tiny receiver for that. But my, my Relic, as I mentioned, my Relic Purple 215. Uh, if I remember, I'll flash a picture up. After I'd finished building it, 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 was, it was a mess. I just was not happy. Yeah, it was all in there and it flew and it was fine. But I just didn't like the way it looked. I had a big bulky receiver on top. I had tape everywhere to try and make it look better. But I wasn't happy with the build at all. 
So I'm stripping it down completely. I've got a new flight control board for it, which I've mentioned in a previous video, the Matek F4, the F5, F4, the F405, bloody hell, one of them days today. So I've got a new flight controller, uh, all in one job in it. And uh, I've got some new ESCs, which, uh, I did a video on, well, depends when I post this, I could say uh, yesterday, but I might not post this for six days. Yeah, so the uh, Spedex 25 amp ESCs, they're really small, really good ESCs, so I've done a video on them. They're going in it. My Matek uh, VTX, that's going in, and other bits and pieces, obviously. So what I'm doing is a brand new build. Right, and I'm going to put the, the Flint 10 little receiver in it. So it, you'll see it more in that sense. Right, but you saw how tiny it is, so that's what I'm going to use it for. But it's a good receiver. Getting back to this video, now I'm telling you about other videos. Getting back to this video, it's a good receiver. And I thought this is a better way to end the video rather than you just seeing a flight clip. Because that do not prove anything. You know my usual feels, and I pushed it, and I went round. I had no problems whatsoever with this receiver. In fact, I was so impressed with it, I, I've already placed an order for two more. Right, because they're so small, and they're great, and they'll come in handy for some of the smaller bills. Okay then, pilots, thanks for watching, and Grand Crow, of course. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like, subscribe. Leave any comments you want, leave thumbs up, leave thumbs down. And as I said, sorry I did a bit of a switch on the ending, but I thought this made more sense just to tell you it works and it's a good receiver. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching. And